they're, they're very probably quite willing to have the whole scheme in two or three years' time. But it's a case of agreeing with them what could be built architecturally in the first year. Would you be able to say 60 hours? You don't have to spend much time with John Maiden to realise that his sights are set high. Higher than housing estates, city blocks or even town centres. In 1963, his ideas about comprehensive development had their chance. He was commissioned to draft a master plan for the new town of Dawley, one of the most difficult sites yet selected for a new town. Each of those clusters is of equal significance. Mm -hmm. Now, as I understand it, as we develop the presidential unit, we are intending to put, for instance, mm -hmm. people near the centre of the each residential unit, and we're tending to put the large... To a man like Maiden, whose ambition is to think and act big, this was a tremendous chance. He tackled not only the enormous job of research and organisation, but he also had to master the difficult art of carrying a formidable committee with him. Not the most congenial task for a man of his drive. It isn't really uh, directly affecting the lives of the present inhabitants. Uh, and uh, now, I'm not coming. I think the social structure is very much more an architectural. I think that is one of the one of the problems that the. Uh, You've been engaged to, you've been engaged to, to, to deal with, uh, well, I think with that. Uh, it was almost impossible to differentiate yes. all this uh, plan. This is a diagrammatic presentation. Yes. But I must insist, Mr. Chairman, that the concept of these areas is not one large residential area, right. suburbia area. As you know, uh, this is Wilson, our concept has been all the time to give a physical character and structure to these individual groups with the open space running between. And these together will form one large uh, uh, area, probably eight groups together, which will make up the total... This feat of steersmanship came to an end on January the 19th, 1965, when John Maiden presented his draft plan at a public meeting in Dawley. He had successfully negotiated all the rocks and shoals in a largely uncharted sea. I think the great trouble of this is, of course, that there just isn't sufficient architect planners in this country to implement all the work that needs to be done. And I'm afraid that this is such a new concept, the idea of completely rebuilding a town, that there are so few uh, architects and planners who are really experienced in this sort of uh, operation. An anxious moment. Sixteen months' work hangs in the balance. Ladies and gentlemen, during a very concentrated year, Dawley designated area has lost none of its initial impact and excitement which it had on me when I first saw this area. And I believe we have an opportunity here to create one of the finest industrial towns, not only in this country, but in the world. And I think I can say this because I have seen most of the major developments of this kind in the Western world. The new town has an area of 9,168 acres. Can we have the lights, please? Lights. is an area of 9,168 acres bounded by the A5 bypass on the north, the Seven Gorge to the south, and boundaries of about two and a half miles apart on east and west. Within the central area, there are a number of possible locations from the main center, adjacent to the beautiful Ranley Lake. The valley site offers the opportunity of development as a multi-level centre for by making use of parts of the Ranley Valley, the servicing and storage of the town centre and the car parking can be tucked away at lower levels, allowing the upper level 
to be developed in the form of pleasant pedestrian squares and malls. So may I... This first stage at Dawley is Maiden's biggest work so far and his most significant because this is what is going to happen. In 20 years' time, perhaps in 10, this country will be unrecognisable. The texture of our lives will depend upon these lonely individuals, men who are prepared to take all decisions, shoulder all responsibilities and back their hunches to the limit. It will be a country made by planners. The rest of us are going to be the planned. It's important, therefore, that we should know these men who have the power to shape our lives who they are, what they're like, whether they're complex or simple. I've tried to take off Saturdays and Sundays, and uh, we do this little thing, we play together here, Christopher and I, and I repair my boats, uh, got a ski boat and a sailing boat, and uh, in the summer we go away for weekends down to Wales. What sort of a place is this going to be? Well, I think Dawley can become the finest of all the new towns. It's got a magnificent situation and high ground overlooking Shropshire, and uh, its contours are interesting. I think it's got the makings of a very, very fine town indeed. Will the mine shafts and slag heaps in the area be much of a problem? Well, they are going to be a problem, obviously, from the point of view of uh, foundations of buildings and things like that. Not in Superwell, but difficult. But. Uh, I was very pleasantly surprised. I pictured initially great heaps and so on, but uh, they're all, most of them are now covered with grass, and trees, heather, gorse. They look really splendid, and I think they can be made into very attractive features. You carried out the preliminary report for the minister. Does mm. this mean that you'll be concerned with the planning of the new town? I don't think so. What normally happens is that after a special development corporation is set up, they appoint their own officers, architects, planners, engineers and so on, and they really get down to the job of planning the town. Will it be an entirely new development, or could it be integrated with the present town? Well, I think it'll have to be integrated with what is there. The Dawley itself and Maidley are quite substantial towns, about 20,000 people, I suppose, altogether. So quite obviously the new must be related to the old, but by the time the town is finished, there'll be very much more new than old. What about multi-storey flats and car parks and supermarkets and things? Do you oh, envisage I th those? Oh, I think that will all come. Oh, definitely. I, I think to live in a tall flat in Dawley with these magnificent views would be really something. What evidence is there to suggest that industry will want to go to Dawley and that people will want to live there? I think people will want to live there. It's a, it can be a most attractive place, as I've indicated. And there are already signs that industries from Birmingham and... Uh, towns to the north are moving into this area to, to find labour. And I'm quite certain once an attractive town is being built there, uh, industry will go. Mr. Maiden, what are you being asked to do? Uh, my commission is to prepare the master plan for Dawley New Town, which will have in the first stage a population of 55,000 growing to 80,000 uh, on a designated area of 9,000 acres. Yes. One of the big problems must be moving in industry and workers at the same time. How are you going to tackle this? Well, this will uh, come about after the master plan for which I've been commissioned uh, has been completed but we hope that with the build up of demand for industry that both industry and houses will be built simultaneously together with the uh, town centre and the entertainment facilities shopping facilities and so forth Critics of new town say that although people live in comfortable homes and work in pleasant surroundings Nevertheless, they're unhappy because they have no social life. 
how can we tackle this? Well, I think in Dawley we have a particularly good chance of creating a town with very fine environment in which people can live uh, happy and contented and useful lives. And uh, we shall try and ensure that the facilities which uh, people need and the character and the environment of the town uh, will, in fact, mm. attract people to Dawley. You think people can move from a bustling city like Birmingham and live comfortably in a comparatively rural area? Yes, I believe they can, particularly if you can create a town of considerable individuality and character. Well, I think the first thing to remember is that the scale of this operation is quite different to the scale of the new towns such as Crawley and Stevenage, which were about 30 to 60,000 population. This will be uh, 225,000 population by 1991. And indeed, if you look at the map, the length from north to south is eight miles, which is the same as the width across the city of Birmingham. And so the scale of this operation is enormous compared with what has been attempted previously. Well, when you're operating with such a large area, how, how did you set about it? What was the first thing you felt you wanted to do? Well, first thing, of course, is a survey and analysis, and then to analyze the client's brief. Uh, but, uh, of course, one of the important factors here is not only to provide for the input of new population from the Midlands, but also to integrate the uh, existing urban areas with the new development which will take place over the years. Bearing that in mind then, what, what strategy have you used in planning to open new town? Well, I think the first thing we wanted to do was take the frustrations out of city life as we know it today. And this meant uh, adopting a policy of dispersal rather than concentration. 